Faith provoking praise, part four. Faith provoking praise, part four. We have come to celebrate the greatness of God. Every time you say praise, you are talking about celebrating the greatness of God. As you praise God today to mark the end of every frustration in your life. In the precious name of Jesus. Yet this praise is not just a theological way of relaxing in church. It's not a way to feel good. Praise has to do with you acknowledging that God is a great God. Praise constitutes a seed that yields fruit when you give it to God. In Psalm 67, 3 to 7, it said, Let the people praise thee, O God, let all the people praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt joy the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield and increase. And God, even our God, shall what? Bless us. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. May the blessings that God will give to you and I today make men to say they fear God. Amen. If you praise God, you can't have fear for blessings. Yeah, this and yeah, me well. Many want their situations to change, but they don't want to change their position with God. If you want your position to change in life, then give God praise. Many a times people want to change their levels, but they keep doing the same thing they've been doing. The wise man said, doing the same thing, same way, and expect different results, another definition for insanity. If you want to change the level, you have to also change your pattern. Is that clear, sir? In Habakkuk chapter 3, a scripture I've read over and over, but light came when I was studying. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall, shall fruit be in the vines. Although your life look as if nothing is working. Since the year started, nothing to show for it. You look at your life, you're putting in so much, but nothing is working. It said, the labor of the olive shall fail. You put in business, it will fail. Even your business failed. And if it shall not yield no meat. You go to market, it didn't sell. The flock shall cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stall. Nothing, nothing to show for it. it is. Yet, I will pray, I will rejoice in the Lord, and will joy in the God of my servant. He said, if things are not working, to make them work, be joyful. Lazarus was in the grave when Jesus said, Father, thank you. I mean, that's, that's, that's funny. He didn't thank God after Lazarus rose. While Lazarus was still in the grave stinking, he said, Father, what? When everything seems hopeless. There was no food in the wilderness in John 6 and John 11. And Jesus said, Father, I thank you. He said, the Lord is my strength, verse 19. And he will make my feet like the highest feet. And he will make me walk upon my high places. Now hear this, I don't know where, which part of your life is not working. After today's praise, God will change that story in the name of Jesus. <laughs> high places is what leads to high places. Praise is the master key to all supernatural breakthroughs. If you want to shift, then give God quality praise. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, although life may seem hopeless, I will praise him for a change of story. Somebody's story will change as I'm talking. <laughs> although nobody has proposed to you for marriage, give God quality praise. Although even one proposed told you, I'm not ready again. Give him praise. It is the midst of praise. God will bring the one you are looking for. Yeah. Shout aloud, amen. Yeah. Although you didn't eat this morning, no food to eat before you came to church. Even as you're going back, you're not sure if there'll be food. Give him praise. And then food will be on your table. 
as you're going back, God will not just put food on your table, he'll give you surplus to give to others. Although you look as if the thing you're looking for is not available, but it's a means of prayer to become available. So here. Psalm 92. One and two. One, two, ten to fourteen. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. So it's a bad thing when you don't praise. To show for thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. But my horn shall I so like a horn of unicorn, I shall be anointed with those who praise oil, who praise God, oil never dry on their head. The oil on their head will never run dry. Praisers are always anointed. To be anointed does not mean you have to be a pastor. There are anointed brothers and there are anointed people who, a pastor may not be anointed, don't you know? So don't think it's title. Anointed has to do with title. Praiseful Christians always are always refreshed with oil. Oh, he said, that anointed my head with what? This is, it was David. A, a pastor. Not, they are not talking about olive oil. Though. So don't say, after I anointed my head. Right? He's talking about somebody being refreshed on daily basis. It's at that point, my eye also shall see my desire upon my enemies. May this praise. All your desire on your enemies will come to pass. <laughs> so when you're praising God, have a desire. What do you want to see? You want your enemy to face the bush? It will happen so. My ear shall hear my desire upon the wicked and rise up against me. I decree today, whatever your ears and eyes are expecting and you want to hear, it will happen that way. As you're praising God, expect something to happen. Expect that your enemies will go to sleep and not wake up. Expect that they will fight themselves in the name of Jesus. All those who have vowed to attack you and I will go down. Yes, those who are scheming to say they will destroy our lives, God will destroy them. Yes, those who have taken your names to shrines, God will send down there. Yes, In the name of Jesus. Yes, As we pray today, so whoever is planning to say, I will deal with this man, I will deal with this man, God will deal with them. Yes, Anyone planning evil against our house, against those who are concerned, so genuinely, God will fight our battles. Yes, in the name of Jesus. That's what praise does. He said, the righteous shall flourish. Shall what? Flourish means no dry season. Means what? No dry season. You'll be flourishing. You'll be what? Verse 13. He said, they shall grow like the city in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the cause of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit. What? That is even to your time on earth is things will be working. Amen. Things will be working. Amen. They shall be fat and flesh. How many want to enjoy that kind of life? God is saying, till your time on earth is over. Things will be getting better. That's how it will work for someone who says amen. amen. Just give God praise. Hear me, brother. Hear me, sister. Please refuse to be a civilized Christian when it comes to praise. Just dance your way to please God. Refuse to be a what? Civilized in quote. Be a rugged Christian singing his praise. By praise, ordinary life can be catapulted to extraordinary life. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what you are missing, not praising God. No praise, nah, nature abhors vacuum. Either you praise him or you live in depression. Every depressed Christian is somebody who does not know how to be joyful. Not how to be what? Are you hearing me? When you are depressed, you miss divine health. You miss revelation because you can't get insight in depression. Do you know? Try to be depressed, read the Bible. You will never get any revelation. You can't flow in the Holy Ghost when you're depressed. Holy Ghost can never flow when you're depressed. If you're depressed, there'll be no flow. There'll be no what? 
you disconnect from the Holy Spirit. You read the Bible, you read it like a literature textbook. Your health will be affected. He said, a many are doing good like what? A broken spirit. So when you are depressed, health will leave, sickness. Most sicknesses is not the devil, it's depression. Everything, you are not happy. Please cheer up. When you praise God, he lifts you, and God will lift someone. Yeah. While when you are depressed. Do you know when you are depressed, you invite demons to oppress you? Now, I will tell you a life story. Try to go to bed sad. That night you have an attack. Mark it. Don't go to bed so depressed you will have an attack. You see masculines pursuing you. You see somebody carrying matchet after you. You'll be jumping from tree to tree. You know why? When you are depressed, God lives. God cannot stay in an environment of depression. That's why, listen, read your Bible. When you read the Bible, God can never, just like you take fish out of water, it can't stay. When you are depressed, God will choke in that environment so you won't stay there. God can never stay in an environment that is, is, is thick. He stays in the environment of praise. So once you are depressed, Satan knows. Satan knows that if you are depressed, God will leave you. So if he wants to attack you, he makes you to be depressed. He says, why are you happy? Last week we went to a bank, stayed five hours. No nada. Even as you're going now, he said I was talking to you, as you're going now, all these things pastors talk is because he has money to buy food. You do have money. He said, not true. Now, true, it's on the altar. Make him pray, 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 pray. He's talking six months. He'll be talking six months. This is the first service. His mouth is sharp. Me, I'm not sure whether Gary said I will eat. He said, That's what I'm telling you. It's the devil talking to you. He said, Why are you happy? When they are dancing, don't dance. School fees, have you paid? And I said, It's true, I've not paid school fees. He said, But landlord gave you a notice to quit. He said, Yes. He said, Now, don't dance. Get angry with God. Get very angry. If God is so good, why don't you have money to pay? He said, Yes. Because you, are, you don't know the Bible. He said, I said, I'm, I'm fighting you now. He said, you see, I'm not going to dance. If you like, let them dance. After school fees, I've not paid. At that time, God will just leave. But in the midst of that, in the midst of that, he said, Satan, you are stupid. I will praise God. As you praise God, God will not turn the story around. I decree somebody's story to change. <laughs> Every time you hear such voices, know that the miracle is by your side. Satan has seen the miracle, so he wants to make you to be concerned with my He said, yet I will praise him. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, yet I will do what? Although this may look as if they are not working, by praise it will begin to walk. So I hear. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Demons will not come near you in the name of Jesus. Because where there is melody, there cannot be tragedy. If you have melody in your heart, you can't explain tragedies in your life. Just make melody. Make what? And tragedies will depart. Sing praise to God. Dance as if there's no tomorrow. With all your mind, and God will make you mighty. You know what Jesus said in John 16, verse 33? He said, Be of good cheer. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world, you have tribulation, but be of what? I have overcome the world. Tell your neighbor, cheer up. Yeah. Say to your neighbor, please, turn to your neighbor and say, cheer up. Yeah. Your case is not the worst. Not the Just give God praise. Give God praise. Stop making your face bleeding. Please smile small. <laughs> and laugh. laugh. Remove that bleeding face. He said, what is bidding? Find out from the dictionary what is bidding. <laughs> Don't make your face what? Find out what is bidding. Don't frown your face. Don't frown. Those of you in the Western world, you wonder what is bidding? Bidding is simply frown. Don't frown your face. That's what I mean by bidding. Don't make your face <laughs> Stop frowning. Stop frowning. You are not the one that the whole world is collapsing on. Somebody was in church, life story, and refused to dance. A lady, every day did, she was just unconcerned, very angry. Then somebody at her back was watching her. They sing, they preach, they pass on me. Then the man said, Madam, what happened? He said, 
I've not paid my children's school fees. That's why I'm not happy. He said, eh, you never pay school fees. Me, as I tell you now, I don't get house. <laughs> you get where to leave me. Now, church here, I sleep. At that time, she got up. She had house. School fees, she had not paid. He, the man was dancing, had nowhere to lay his head. He said, I slept here in the church. I said, life story. Me, and the prayer He said, hey, you, you sleep here. You don't get house. Eh? Now, she got up. Where you think your own is the worst, you better find out that one. <laughs> better find out. You, you have house. Some people who slept on the street, on that bridge. He said, I didn't have food to eat, but you have stomach. There are people who don't have stomach to eat. They've removed everything, so they use pipe. And you don't even have a problem. You only chop cassava three times a day. You take a starch in the morning, Lolo in the afternoon, Gary in the evening. Air Force, Navy, Army. <laughs> No side effect. They, they, they worry. Some people, they told them, that shall not eat cassava. That shall not. You, your own, that shall eat. You eat, 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 okra soup, egusi soup, banga soup, every soup. No, and no side effect. No, no, no side effect. No, no, don't have any problem. Even as you're finishing service now, you are going to eat. You select the kind of soup. Get in the morning, get in the after, get in the balanced diet. <laughs> Cassava is different uniforms. You know, starch is cassava. Lolo is cassava. Gary is cassava. It's Air Force, Navy, Army, Air Forces. <laughs> Do you have any problem? No. Some of you eat it even in the morning. Somebody say, it does not take breakfast. It takes as, it's hungry. I say, how? He says, I don't eat all this bread in the morning. No, no, I eat as my, as, I can eat Gary in the morning, take bread in the afternoon. Me, I don't follow all this breakfast in the morning. <laughs> He said, I don't believe in bread. <laughs> bread and egg. I eat as he hungry me. If God is hungry in the morning, I eat God. <laughs> if in the afternoon, it's bread. I take bread and egg. I don't eat a breakfast. No. If you look very well, children born by high people, they are very slim. You know why? They don't feel their well. <laughs> they carry two sizes of plantain. They give them, nah, nah, nah. If you are born by a broke, a broke <laughs> When they give you food, they look at your face, they say, Junior, are you okay? So, mm. They say, do we put more? So, mm. They put more. When you finish, you, you get up. <laughs> your stomach. Your stomach. We peer out. And <laughs> shine. shine. I've not seen them in the village. They shine it. <laughs> yeah. They eat base on the stomach, not on the quantity of food. <laughs> and they're living. You, 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 they take, take two sides of a plantain. Take, I told her, I said, my friend, give the food to the child. I don't like, I don't like any child tiny. Don't, if you want to diet, diet as old man, but baby, I like babies who are around. I don't like child, don't tell me this is my picking. I like ice dieting, no dieting for picking. <laughs> I like child when you pick child like this, the child is <laughs> thick. Uh, when you grow, you can be doing your dieting. I like, I big, 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 better milk and junk food to say the diet. You old man, make a diet. You're old, you're even fat, your children are nice. I like them to diet for what? Give two sides of plantain. Lie, lie, you. Praise God, my friend. With the joy of the Lord, no devil can rob you of your destiny in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Let me say this. Praise God from your heart. Praise God for what? And you, you become a showpiece on the earth. Those mocking you will see God make you. They will envy you tomorrow. Yet it's only those who are mad for God will be made by him. Only those who are what? Will be made by Do you know why? When it comes to praise, you, you dance like a madman. I'll show you an example. Only those who are mad for God be made. Mad and made is one E added to the mad. The extra thing you do like a madman is what makes you to be made. David danced like a madman and God made him a king. Somebody after this praise, your position will change. <laughs> David danced like what? A madman and God made him a king. Your dancing today will change your status. 
the most celebrated man on earth, David. If you look at Matthew 1, he was able to say, and this began this, and this began this, because, and David the king. He then he said, David began, he said, and David the king. Why? And Jesse began David what? Before him, all that's where, and this began this one, this began this one, nothing, no specialty. But when he came to David, God paused. So I won't put David begat. He said, David the king. Your name will be added to something. <laughs> but look what made David. Many of you don't know what made David. Please, praise makes God turn you to his favorite. Praise makes God turn you to his what? There are people who are favorite to God. You know, if you have children, you say, this is my favorite. When you praise God, you become God's what? Favorite. 2 Samuel 6, 12 to 14. Look at it. And it was told King David, saying, The Lord hath blessed the house of Obedidom, and all that pertaineth unto him, because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obedidom into the city of David with what? With gladness. With what? With gladness. And it was so, that when they had bared the ark, and when they that bare the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed ox and fattens. Now, but look at verse 14 carefully. Who, who is this? Do you know who David, David? David was the most celebrated man of his time. He was the highest man, the pinnacle of life. And David danced before the Lord with all his mind. That kind of dancing is not this one. He said, and David was gathered with his linen ephod. That he danced to a point, the Bible said, his wife looked at him and said, David, why you dance like that? You're a madman. He was almost naked. You know that kind of dance where he was just like a bushman. Quote. David, that, you know why? If you read, our father Saul was so proud. There was no way in the Bible I saw Saul dance. King Saul never danced. Proud people don't dance. So she was surprised that somebody who took over her father's clan can dance like that because she never saw her father dance any day. So she was very... Do you know that people who even as in today's service? Look at her. And the ark of the Lord came into the city of David. Micah, Saul's daughter, looked through the window and saw King David limping and what? And she despised him in her heart. You know, that's where you dance. I always say, uh, 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 dancing like this. I the Christ. Until you are crazy for God, you cannot be great in life. Please, live your civilized life. When it comes to God, my friend, is what will beautify you. That pancake, you wrong, forget it. If you because of pancake, no great dance, they do like this. The pancake will turn to another thing. If you do like this, dance, let the pancake go off. I hear now? Don't, do, don't be doing like this. <laughs> Leave all those pancakes to go. Say, God, I dance. I don't care about the pancake. God will beautify you. You have, oh God, you don't know what you're missing. David was not a poor man, who no. was not a, was the wealthiest man of his time. All this small money you have, you come to church, you know. I'm not going to dance, no way. I'm not going to dance. I'm just coming from, I'm not going to dance. How much will you get? How much do you have? David was the most wealthiest, most respected, the most popular, the most famous man on earth then. He danced before God with all his mind. That kind of dance is not this one we are doing psychedelic here. He danced with, as if he was dancing. You will be the most celebrated after now. <laughs> one of the worst enemies of praise is pride. Is what? It's pride. Please respond to the grace of God if you don't want to be disgraced in life. As you glorify him today, he will beautify your life. Amen. Those who glorify God, God beautifies them. Amen. Give God quality worth. Which say God changed my story. Dance the dancers, spin the spinners, shout the shouters, clap the clappers, sing the singers, praise the princess. Are you hearing me? Don't speak that kind of English actually now. Just speak it for you today. Dance the what? Dance. Praise. Praise. Sing. Sing yes. Move. Yes. Clap. Clap yes. Jump. Yes. Amen.
and God will change yours too. Are you hearing me? You see God just step in and just decorate you. Those who despise you, God will show them pepper. Do you know what praise can do? If you read that story, she was the only woman born in the old Bible. She despised David. God said, you despise the man praising me. His own wife, oh, God did not leave her. Then just imagine somebody despising you when you praise like this. Somebody will be decorated. Somebody will be decorated. When God decorates you, let the whole world hate you. The whole world hated, the, look, the whole army of Israel pursued David, they could not catch him. Because of God, who was with him. Saul with his army went after him. <laughs> Let all of them gather. They can't, they can't touch you. Which day is your day? Which day is your day? Which day is your day? How many God want God to beautify their lives? Do you want God to beautify you? Forget whatever is happening. Just praise him. If God decorate you, hey, forget it. Nobody can stop you. Do you want God to decorate you? Do you want God to decorate you? Rise to your feet. Shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. We are going to praise God for him to decorate our lives. Although the fig tree shall not blossom yet, I will rejoice. How many of you will rejoice? You know, they have joy. I think rejoice should be plural of joy. You can't say joyces. So re rejoice is a higher level of just shift your joy to another level. Dance like David, though. Dance like who? Dance like David. And then you see God decorate you that after today, just like David was crowned, somebody here will be crowned. <laughs> You become the showpiece on the earth. The next 10 minutes, we are going to praise God. Don't look at your neighbor. Don't look at your friend. Face your own and say, Lord, decorate me. Lord, do what? Put your glory on me. Change my story as I give you quality praise. Expect your own miracle as we praise God now.
praise. Decorate and beautify my life. If there be anything remaining in my life that needs me to be completely beautiful, make it happen. You know, in the world, when someone is praising, the rich comes, they do like this. True? Are you getting me? They just pray, Lord, this is my time. Decorate me. I have given you quality praise. Beautify my life. Go ahead and begin to declare. In Jesus, mind name, every spirit of heaviness is removed from you. May the spirit of joy overtake you. Now hear this. He said that they might be called the trees of righteousness. And they will be glorified. By this praise, every filthy garment that was on you has been removed. God will place on you a garment of glory. Amen. What do I make men to reject you before today? It is over. Amen. By this praise, everywhere you turn, you'll be accepted. Amen. Anywhere you turn, you'll be favored. Amen. Anything about you will carry glory. Amen. That thing that makes you to be disdained, people say, no, no, we don't want you. It is I, over. Amen. That garment by this praise is removed. A garment of praise upon you. Amen. You will leave this service dancing in the open. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your life will never remain the same. Amen. Just like David had an identity different from everybody. Everybody began, began when God to be said, David the king. By this praise, your identity will change. Amen. You will not just be like others as a common. When they call your name, they'll add something to it. You are the blessed of the Lord. Amen. You are the blessed of the Lord. Amen. I repeat, it's a word as I'm, I'm something I meditate deeply when I'm you are blessed of the Lord. Amen. You are the blessed of the Lord. Amen. You are the blessed of the Lord. Amen. You are the blessed of the Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Turn to someone and say, I am, I am blessed of God. Another person somewhere. I am of God. Now you are the blessed of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Everyone who was not enjoying the blessing by this praise, go and the blessing work in your life. I repeat, the jobless are living here for get miracle jobs. The bad are living here to become fruitful. The poor are living here to be blessed and rich. Failures are living here to be successful. The singles are living here to be married. The dull are living here to be intelligent. Your story has changed. Beggars are living here to be lenders. In the name of Jesus, your children and my children will be the best in academics. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed of the Lord. You are blessed of God. In Jesus' name, say, I receive it. Go ahead and speak over your life with these words. The blessing is upon me. I'm blessed of God. I am blessed of God. I am blessed of God. I am blessed of God. In Jesus' name.